today we're gonna talk about my kitchen my kitchen is finally finished it actually has been finished for two weeks now three weeks now something like that a few weeks okay i just had to take some time to organize things to put it back where it should be uh and you know kind of put things all together before i can show you guys so yeah it just took me a couple of weeks it's still not finished like meaning like all my drawers are not filled in yet i'm kind of reorganizing some of the stuff but the biggest job is done you guys and i had no idea how disastrous this can actually be oh <sighs> so you guys i'm just gonna give you a little quick story kind of talk about this very quickly before i take you to the actual kitchen and actually i did um record those little snippets you know before during the you know i'm just gonna i have a whole timeline okay so i'm gonna take you right in there from the beginning to the end but before i do it let me just tell you guys this work this kitchen painting there was a cabinet painting it was supposed to take uh he said seven days ten days max it took him three weeks okay um <laughs> And, mo and the reason took so long because they took a lot of days off which is frustrating you guys because you probably know if you have have any kitchen renovations you know how difficult it is to live if you cannot really cook you cannot you know eat there and if you have kids on top of it you know it's it's a disaster okay so it took way longer than expected and i was frustrated um my husband was frustrated you know and there was a lot of things on the way that happened same with the when they put the primer that actually never told us how stinky it's going to be which was a no-no to me because you know i don't live in the construction zone every day and I had no idea how toxic that primer was they sprayed at the end of the day you should never do it you should come in the morning and put the primer on there was no reason for them to prime the kitchen at 6 30 p.m you know before we go to bed and and on top of it they never told us that's gonna be very toxic you better go to the hotel for one night we had no clue okay it, it was just crazy my kids were complaining everybody were complaining and that was the night when i actually had to go work and i came home my husband had all the windows all the doors open the entire house and we had a rough night let me tell you we had a rough night but um the rest wasn't so bad the paint obviously is not so bad and uh it's just the whole process of taking it so long it was just very frustrating so let's not talk about this anymore let me take you through it let me show you and i apologize for my very sleepy voice and uh, most of the time i record on my iphone so the you know the volume maybe it's not so good so i apologize and i'm kind of exhausted and sleepy <laughs> a little angry at the same time at some of those clips so just keep that in mind as you watch this but i just want to show you before and slowly the process obviously like i said they took days in between that there was just no progress there was just nothing happening basically when they finished the um you know the cabinets they they took obviously the all the tops um you know to the shops to do them and they would tell me oh yeah we are working on the tops today in reality they weren't my husband actually says suspect that they had other jobs that they were doing at the same time which is just so not fair and then island because we decided to stain the island not paint as we originally uh wanted the island it seems like it took them forever to do all right so yeah super frustrating but let me just walk you through all right guys so this is the kitchen before the big painting <laughs> So as you can notice, my kitchen is humongous, and uh, yes, this this chair will go. There's a little sitting area, you know, like a breakfast kind of area. That's where we eat, um, you know, like daily meals. <laughs> and then yes, I am tired of the brown color. So yes, that's pretty much how it looks like. There is 
a lot of cabinets as you can see this big cabinet is like the entire pantry basically so yeah the appliances will stay because the refrigerator is i have to take all those magnets off but refrigerator is basically like a year or a year and a half old maybe two years the most um the dishwasher is also new um here on the left side and a microwave we changed about i would say three years ago maybe four years ago so yeah so appliances will stay and i am planning on painting the island like a darker color basically and the cabinets will be all kind of light so yeah that's an idea i'm trying to match because obviously the stone have to stay my husband would not <laughs> allow me to change the countertops um so i'm thinking you know for the um you know for the island maybe kind of like this darker brown you know kind of color and then for cabinets something you know that will match the stone or like my you know my trim around the wall there's um there's a laundry room over there um so as you can see i have a light cabinet in the laundry room so yeah i'm just trying to brighten it up a little bit because um you know the builder that built this house and when we moved here in 2009 um you know he used a lot of travertine stone as you can see let me walk you to the stove top um this is also all the travertine stone so everything is like brown 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 so yeah the stove top is good i love the stove top so basically yeah but you know we've been here for all 12, 12 years and um we are the only one owners of this house and you know the cabinets are just mm -hmm. you know it's just getting used a little bit i'm gonna keep the hardware for now but eventually i can change those as well but that wouldn't be a problem but for now i'm basically gonna um hold on to the hardware this is another view from this side so yeah i love this kitchen i absolutely love this kitchen but it just need to be it just needs a little tlc here here's another little spot that um kind of like chipped or something so yeah you know it's been a while since we are here so it just has to be um it just has to be fixed so there we go good morning guys it's eight o'clock in the morning and my kitchen is absolutely empty <sighs> we worked all night yesterday all day <laughs> just to take all the stuff out. I think you don't realize how much you have until you really take everything, you know, out of the cabinets. And uh, I feel like overwhelmed. So anyway, this is before <laughs> and the painters are, I don't know, they are supposed to be here like in 10 minutes or so. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, this is before, this is how it looks like. This was originally, um you know to the house the house was built in 2008 we basically we were the f we are the first owners we bought it in 2009 so yeah this is like it has been the only thing we changed so far was the the wall color so it's just a little bit lighter it used to be like all yellow so yeah now it's time to do the cabinet so i'm super excited but i know this is going to be a headache <laughs> but it is what it is all right guys so this is day two yesterday they took all the you know fronts of the cabinets off as you can see and uh, all the hardware this was that took them like a couple of hours to do but anyway they are now taping um you know just protecting stuff and i was told that possibly they will um maybe spray pri spray the primer today we'll see but anyway they went for a lunch right now so i'm just kind of showing you guys how things look i'm super excited um the lady that comes you know helped me out the designer she was here and you know she said it just takes a really really long time to prep um, all right guys so i think today is day three this is what it's happening this is how my kitchen looks like <laughs> This is all the primer, okay? So if you see all those red spots, it looks like a blood. 
they actually um, did some like little cocking touch-ups, whatever they call it. So yeah, kind of looks like a crime scene. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. So the only thing with that primer was that it was so incredibly stinky. They didn't tell us, obviously, that's gonna be so stinky. And uh, yeah, it was a rough night. Let me tell you, it was a rough night for us. But anyway, yeah, um, they didn't do much today other than just doing a little touch up is because that um, that primer is not completely dry yet. So they have to wait till tomorrow before they can send it. And then obviously they can put the correct color. It's not going to be as white as you see right now. This is going to be a little bit more off white. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited. The island, obviously it's not being painted. The island will be different color. This is going to be stained. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So I guess this is it for today and I will update you hopefully tomorrow. Hey guys, so I think today is day four <laughs> of my kitchen reno and they just finished painting the cabinets. I think they look pretty. They look much brighter. Um, it's hard to tell because I have lights on and of course the windows are, you know, kind of closed in, but um, I cannot stand here long because the smell is really bad. But anyway, it's all dry, so it's all drying, so I cannot even like walk in here because it's all paint all over. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of give you a quick update. Yeah, this is how it looks like with the lights on. It's kind of an off-white, um, warmer and undertone color, which is, I think, pretty much it's supposed to be the same as my trim, which you cannot see it right now. So yeah, so far so good. Hey guys, so today is day five and this is the update. Look at those cabinets. Oh my God, this looks so beautiful. I absolutely love this color. Um, it's a daytime, so you can probably now tell that the cabinets are matching the trim. That was the case. That's what we kind of planned. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I love how bright it is in my kitchen. Obviously, we are far from being done. As far as I know, that didn't even touch, you know, the, um, the fronts of the cabinet. So they're working on it at the shop. But you can still tell the island is not touched. This is how it was originally, but I am planning to make it dark. So yeah, but that's basically how it looks. Actually, the island looks not bad. <laughs> with the rest of the light cabinets but I yeah I'm kind of yeah I, I kind of want to go like a dark stain originally I wanted to have the island to be painted like you know like a dark color but I think I'm gonna we've decided not I think we have decided to do a dark stain um but oh, yeah I am so I am so pleased. So far, I am very, very happy. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I was super scared, but <laughs> I am pleased with the results so far. And uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. So I lost count. I don't even know <laughs> what day is. Um, so the new stuff is obviously, as you can see, the island is covered in a plastic he applied this um, solution that basically takes the old varnish off the island and we are we picked a new um, you know the new kind of darker varnish so he told me it's gonna take about three days to fix it and um, yeah he told me I can start putting things into those little cabinets in the meantime but obviously there's no shelves <laughs> as you can see because they they just didn't bring it I don't know if they painted them already or not like this little pantry section you know which I usually have drawers or you can see there's just nothing this is all empty all empty so I don't have shelves you know to um kind of put stuff in so basically yes that's what happened 
today and he said he'll be back in a couple of hours because this needs to sit and kind of baked you know for a few hours and uh then i guess he's just gonna just scrape it i assume that's how it works and tomorrow he's gonna start put new varnished i did talk to him and pick the new varnish i think it's gonna be beautiful it's like a darker kind of uh espresso i think kind of a color so yeah i'm excited hi guys welcome to my kitchen <laughs> So, um, yeah, a quick update. Yesterday, they um, finally did some work on the island. And you can probably tell from last time that it is much, much, much darker. It's not finished yet. Um, I don't know if they will be putting like a second coat of that stain. Uh, but I really, really like it. And I like that you can see the, you know, kind of wood peeking through. But as far as I know, I think they're gonna put one more coat and obviously make it all nice and shiny because it's very kind of raw <laughs> right now. But um, yeah, other than that, there's not much progress. It's a complete mess and chaos. Um, yeah, I am so ready to be done with this, you guys. It's yeah, it's it's like a second week, so it's definitely a little bit too much longer than I expected, but. This is how the island looks like right now. So, you know, obviously it's a work in progress. I think he said there's two more things that has, has to be done to that island. So I assume he's gonna put the second coat and then, you know, that kind of the top coat or whatever they call it. So anyway, uh, <laughs> it's a mess. Look at all that hardware that is in here. So obviously that belongs to the cabinets. I start putting those little uh, shelf holders in here, but I don't know, I kind of forgot when they were originally, I'm kind of eyeballing, and of course I don't have shelves, so I cannot put anything else in, so yeah, we put, I put a couple of things in here, you know, whatever, we try to eat and cook a little bit, but yeah, this is the state of my kitchen, so yeah. So that's a quick update for today. So you guys, <laughs> welcome to my new kitchen. Oh, so it's been a about two weeks since the kitchen has been done, but honestly, you guys, I still haven't finished putting everything in. It's just, it's been a madness. <laughs> Let me put it this way. So yeah, as you can see, it's very nice and bright. So we end up going with the trim color, you know, for the cabinets. And obviously the island has been stained darker color. I think it looks amazing. <laughs> There's no chairs in here. There should be two chairs, you guys, but I am still shopping for chairs. Uh, yeah, I just cannot find the one that I like. So, you know, I don't want to just go for any whatever i find it i will get it this is our little breakfast nook in here area these chairs needs to be replaced as well because they are quite old and some of them are just falling apart but basically here we go this is my kitchen most of the stuff is in but there is still a lot of you know empty <laughs> drawers i am absolutely in love with the island you know how it looks it's it's much darker than it was and uh, I like it because there's a more kind of, you know, um, difference between the floor now and, um, you know, and the island. That little fruit thing, <laughs> it was there before. So this was nothing, that's nothing new. That's, I always kind of keep it there for some fruits and vegetables. Um, yeah, this is the left side of the kitchen. So the dishwasher, I might also check um change those little rugs that we have in here they always move around um because they might not quite go together <laughs> with the rest of the kitchen but these were the previous previous um you know little runners so i i might change those as well and this is the other side of the island i really really love it i bought the this thingy <laughs> which is darker because it used to be like kind of off-white so now i think it looks much better so obviously the you know the granite stays the same the you know the backsplash it's all the same the only thing really that we changed is the cabinets 
um, you know, the color of the cabinets, obviously. And over here is my laundry room. It's like a little pantry, laundry room kind of area. So, yeah, I am so, so, so super happy, you guys. I think it looks amazing. I am so happy that we finally, you know, what, that we decide to do it and it's finally over. It was a complete mad madness. <laughs> it took way longer than expected, but I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, guys, so I think my kitchen is beautiful. <laughs> after all of the drama after all of those little things and you know this this little details that they just missed you know i mean i would never ever bring someone's you know the doors to the kitchen with so much flaw in those you know doors it just to me is like slappy slappy job you know and I don't know if, if this is how they do it but obviously you saw me I put a lot of those uh, blue tapes basically with all the little things that I need to be fixed but some of them were so obvious that I would be ashamed if this was my business you guys I would be ashamed to actually bring it to someone else's house and pretend like it's okay because that's how I felt they were uh, and I just taped this whole thing <laughs> And he came, you know, the next day or two days later fixing those little things. The same with the island. and It, it was just so much little things that had to be touched up. He also had to paint part of the ceilings and the wall because they sprayed with the primer. <laughs> you know, they didn't cover well. And, you know, there was just a lot of little things. So after all of this, my husband and I decided to change this uh, hood, under hood, you know, this vent because ours was just so ugly, you guys. When we purchased this house, this was obviously brand new. Everything was brand new in 2009. The house was built in 2008. And, you know, everything was okay. I mean, it's brand new, it's okay. You don't wanna change things. But, you know, after all those years, we just needed a little upgrade. So that vent was just like, in my opinion, was just cheap, you know what I mean? And for this house that we have in this neighborhood, this vent and this quality of the you know appliances should be just a little bit better in my opinion so my husband and I purchased a very nice new you know vent and this little insert and we have decided to change ourselves and the biggest surprise was that when we moved that little um, you know after we put everything in and we moved that pipe that was uh, going through the from the vent which we thought it was going to the outside because the the wall you know um behind the stove it's the outside wall we thought the whole vent was going outside you know sucking all that air you know outside it turns out it's going straight to the ceiling oh my goodness you guys i was so upset you have no idea so obviously that's a builder's fault and when the designer lady that i work with you know who helped me with that kitchen she came and i show her that she said yeah, yeah that's a cheap way of doing things that not the most professional she said it's okay to do it but she didn't think it was right to do it so now we have this nice vent <laughs> which i cannot use i cannot use because i don't want to blow you know the air onto my ceiling you know I, we were just so not aware for so many years you know because everything was just piped it was taped in and which were like who climb all the way to the ceiling you know to check check where the pipe is going you assume it's all done correctly so <laughs> this is something we still need to do and believe it or not it's not easy to find someone who can actually dig the hole in your um, you know in your exterior wall and you know connect the pipe it's if you think about it, it's really not that much big of a deal but I don't want my house to collapse you know what I mean? so, anyway yeah this was like certainly a bummer and you know but this can be done this can be done so that's just something that we need to do also what else I have to do obviously I have to buy new chairs I have been looking for those chairs for weeks now, you guys, and I still cannot find the exact one that I want. So obviously I don't wanna rush. There's gonna be nice two chairs by the island. I also would like to, I actually have to, because some of them are falling apart, The the to change the 
kitchen chairs by our like a dining you know kind of um kitchen nook area we need the new chairs there as well so that's another one i was looking for so slowly you know i'm gonna get in there possibly i'm gonna get new those rugs those runners there as well it's just i hate to rush okay so usually the buy, the way i buy furniture is like when i see something great coming that's usually when i buy so I'm not gonna rush I'm just gonna wait for something that I love and then I'm gonna purchase it so yeah but other than this you guys with all the drama happening I think my kitchen looks way better I think it's more you know brighter more modern and I am so glad that we end up uh, going with the stain for the island rather than the paint I think it looks so much more stylish so much more chic and uh, yeah some pair of new you know chairs going there I think it's gonna be just great and uh, like I mentioned I'm still organizing some of the cabinets I put obviously most of the stuff in but I'm still kind of changing things around and my kids and my husband gets frustrated that I reorganize and reorganize and reorganize and they cannot find things but deal with this I said just learn <laughs> okay so thank you so much for watching you guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know um what do you think about my new kitchen and uh i'm just so glad glad that this is over because oh the headache the frustration and the mess that we had you know because i had to move all that stuff from the cabinets and putting in my dining room and leaving room and we were just living like a gypsies and you know you saw me i couldn't even do the you know part of the stuff was like actually behind me like in my bedroom like i couldn't even film properly because i couldn't show you guys all those boxes it was just ridiculous what a mess but anyway it's over so let me know what do you think about my new kitchen uh if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and uh yeah I hope you guys are doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys!